Well, what I always do if if I'm gonna, you know, any any contractor, you know, when I when I go pick a contractor, my first thing I like to do is I like to pick somebody who's whose names in the company. Now that's not a hundred percent guarantee, but to to me, if the guy's willing to put his name on the company, then that means he's gonna stand behind his work. Um, that's where I start, and then I then I usually go through and look at reviews, ask friends of mine, people I you know I know what they know about this plumber and, and and see how how well they're received in, in the community and whether whether they're just one of these guys that want to just send somebody out there get a check and leave or whether there's somebody that's going to come and care about about my situation so that's that's usually what i do when i'm when i'm looking for a electrical contractor some some somebody that's out of my trade um and so i i would i would recommend that to my family that maybe lives out of state if they're looking for a plumber i usually will tell them something like that hey First thing I'm gonna do is look for somebody with their name in it, and then I'm gonna look at their reviews, uh, see how well they're received by their customer. Uh, we do Houston and pretty much all of the surrounding cities. Um, most of our work is on the southwest side of, of Houston, um, Sugarland area, Katy, Stafford, Richmond, Rosenberg. Um, but we go all over. I mean, we do work in Clear Lake. Uh, we do some work in Galveston once a month. We send a truck down there. And we do some work down there, uh, but in general, most of our day-to-day -day service calls are on the southwest side, uh, Bel Air, Sugarland, that kind of thing.